It is new knife day again at Sharpening Supplies, and today we have the Wusthof Classic Icon. So this is fresh out of the box. It's quite a nice looking kitchen knife. I think John has mentioned that he wants to take this one home and use it, so we're getting some good in use out of this one. One thing that I would like to comment on before I start testing it is that I'm not sure how well this is going to come out on camera, but there are what looks like some dings or a bit of a burr remaining along the edge. That's an interesting thing for a knife like this fresh out of the box. So we'll see how that impacts the edge when we test it. So once again, we're testing on the edge on up industrial. And so we'll test along three parts of the blade and take an average from those scores. So first from the heel, 128. Now from the middle, 986. I think I might have hit one of those rolled sections. And now let's do the tip of the knife. Hundred and twenty-nine. Yeah, pretty sure that middle score was because of one of those little damage spots. Let's get another reading from the middle and see if I can avoid the damage spots. If that will change the score. So. Hundred and sixty-four. Yep. So the Wusthof Classic Icon, fresh out of the box, if we're counting that score from the damage section, it's got an average edge sharpness of 114 grams. If we don't count that, uh, it's 140 grams. So once again, we'll spend a minute dropping and we'll see if that can get rid of some of those burrs. All right, here we go. One minute of stropping. Let's see how that's affected the edge. Starting with the heel, 133 grams. Somewhere in the middle, I can still see a little bit of that burst. Let's try and get it on one of those burst sections. Five hundred and forty. And now tip of the knife. 156. Okay, let's try it again in the middle, avoiding some of that damage that it arrived with. 149. So a minute of stropping did quite a bit to improve those small sections of damage. So the average, including a damage spot, was 293 after stropping. If we don't include the damaged areas, if we try to avoid those, then the average sharpness was 146, basically the same as how it arrived. So if it wasn't for those little spots of damage, then this would have been a very sharp out of the box knife. Unfortunately, I think because of that, we might need to go to a stone just to work them out or at least do more than a minute's worth of stropping. We'll probably fix that up uh, and then John will use it for a little bit and we'll see how it performs in the kitchen. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and hopefully we'll see you again soon.